everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Kat and I'm sharing my life and times and travels with you every week uh, here on YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this video as well as all my other videos. And this week we're talking about 10 things I love about Dubai. Dubai is a beautiful city with so much to offer and I wish I knew that before I came here. So I tried watching YouTube videos and vlogs about life in Dubai and what it's like and how the culture is. But honestly, I feel like I discovered most of what I discovered after I got here. Some videos on YouTube that tell you like activities and like things to do, like skydiving or like certain stereotypes about Dubai, but I feel like I haven't, I didn't really get a good picture of the city until I got here. So in this video, I'm sharing 10 things I wish I knew or 10 things I love, I guess, because I love all of them. So the first thing I want to say about Dubai is the first thing I noticed when I got off the plane, and that is Dubai is spotless. It is a clean city. You'll see people cleaning it all day, every day, um, from malls to public streets to public places like the subway and metro. There's people cleaning it and there's an attention to cleanliness that is pervasive throughout the city. And it's very enjoyable. It's wonderful to be on the beach and not see garbage. It's great to be in the mall and not see trash or on the subway and to see a clean subway. Like the floor literally sparkles sometimes. <laughs> you can see your reflection in the floor, which is for me incredible. And it's just a really wonderful perk that I had no idea existed in Dubai. So the second thing I want to note is that Dubai is extremely safe. And this is coming from someone who is coming from Canada. So Canada is a very safe country, but even then I've noticed a difference. There's a cart, for example, on the subway just for women and kids. You can check it out in my Dubai vlog, which is super useful even at night, or especially at night, I should say, because walking home, taking the subway, everything feels very safe. Um, you can carry expensive things or wear nice jewelry in most areas, which is also good relief, right? You can like look your best, feel your best, and not have to worry about drawing attention, which if you're traveling in other areas of the world, often you do. So for example, I've traveled to Latin America a lot, and you don't want to wear gold or nice jewelry because you know you're drawing too much attention to yourself someone could take it off of you that is 100 percent never going to happen here because even if it did happen the police here are so well equipped to catch the person or to apprehend them that you probably would get your things back very soon all my friends here in dubai are not like that have lived here they're like not worried at all about losing their things because they know that if they left their phone in, in a cab or if they left their computer in a coffee shop or whatever if someone did steal it they would get it back like in an hour or so. Everything is very, very safe in Dubai, which is a huge relief. So the third thing I wanna note is that the beach is super accessible in Dubai. And not just that, but there's different kinds of beaches. So first of all, it's easy to get to. The beach is, you can take the subway to it, you can take, you can drive to it, and within 15, 20 minutes, of whatever transportation you're taking, you can get a beach. You can get a nice beach. Also the beaches here, I was told by an Emirati friend, have eight levels of nets in the Persian Gulf or in the Gulf. So because of those eight nets, no animals pass through, like no sharks or anything like fish or anything like that. So when you go swimming, there's nothing in the water. There's just sea salt and seashells and you can just float and it's incredible. There's also different kinds of beaches. So if you wanna to go to a beach that's more lively and kind of like a party scene or a social scene, you can do that. But you can also go to beaches that are very calming and peaceful and quiet where you can just enjoy the sand and the water. So I love the beaches in Dubai. I love that they're so easy to get to and enjoy. And I'm 100% a different color now <laughs> than when I arrived just because of how much time I've spent in the sun on the beach. So one of the points that's maybe like a con against Dubai is just how directionally challenging it can be at first. If you're not used to where you're going, you can easily get lost by walking on foot or by driving. By driving, the joke is that if you miss your exit, you'll end up in Saudi because it's such a big distance between the exits that it can take you easily on the 20 minute detour if you miss your exit. And it's kind of the same with walking. If you don't know exactly where you're heading, you can end up having to walk the whole other way. And just even with Google Maps, I found that I get confused and have to figure out how to get around to where I'm going and end up taking long detours because with some streets, for example, you can't just cross the street, you have to go all the way around or you have to take a special bridge to cross the street because the streets are so wide. So it's like little things like that, which I'm sure over time and already I've noticed I'm getting better at, but there is a learning curve with getting around Dubai. Before I came to Dubai, I was actually scared of the weather. I'm coming to Dubai from Canada. So Canada is notoriously cold. We do have a summer 
and it does get hot in the summer, but the hottest it gets is 33 degrees Celsius. So in Dubai, it gets up to 35, 38, 40s, even up to 50. And so I was really worried that I wouldn't survive the weather here. I was worried it would be too hot and I would hate it. And the truth is that the heat in Canada is different than the heat in Dubai. Why? In Dubai, the heat is really dry. It doesn't feel, the heat doesn't feel the same at 35 degrees than it does in Canada, because in Canada, we have lots of bodies of water. There's lots of lakes, especially in Ontario, which is my province or my state or whatever. <laughs> but like, there's a lot of water. So in general, the air is much more humid. When it rains, when it's hot, there's just a lot of water in the air. That's something that is really good to know. If you come to Dubai, uh, the heat is actually quite dry. So it's very bearable at 35, at 36, at 38 degrees. And actually all of June, I've been here at 35, 35, 36, 38 degrees, and it's been completely fine. So one of the things with Dubai is that your tech won't work the same way. You can't WhatsApp, FaceTime, or video call people from your phone. You have to use a desktop computer or a VPN on your phone to make it work. Also, things like Disney or Netflix will be different here. And just, you won't have the same access to shows and stuff that you would have had back home, unless you use a VPN. With WhatsApp, for example, it'll say that it's working, but it won't actually work. It'll just keep going and going forever. One of the things that I didn't know that was such a pleasant surprise when I came here is that Arab people smell amazing. And I don't mean like their body odor, <laughs> but I mean like literally there's this thing here called oud, which is like perfume. And in general, perfume and oud, which is like an oil that people rub on their skin, that's like, it lasts longer and it's kind of more powerful than perfume. You will walk into public places like public restrooms or the mall, the Dubai mall, or just public areas. And just the smell of beautiful, perfume will hit you and it makes everything so much better. Like I can't even describe how happy it makes me to walk around in public places and to just smell amazing smells all day. It's amazing and I love it. Dubai is really nightlife friendly. So, and I don't mean just bars, clubs, you know, that kind of nightlife. I mean, genuinely the city is still alive at night. Maybe because in my city, things get pretty cold at night. People tend to go home at a certain time or go home earlier. Here in Dubai, the weather is amazing like well into the night, like all night. So oftentimes you can be out with friends and not even notice what time it is and realize it's two or realize it's already past one and you only realize once the restaurant's closing that maybe it's time to go home. I've noticed that Dubai people walk on the beach at night, people go swimming at night, which is like crazy to me in a good way. And just the city is still vibrant. It never feels dead or asleep, even in the wee hours of the morning. So. I love that about Dubai, it just is always alive. The native Emiratis and a lot of Muslims, which is a lot of Dubai is composed of, don't drink alcohol. So because they don't drink alcohol, what they do drink is juices and smoothies and smoothie bowls and I, I'm obsessed. Like I love the fact that here in Dubai you can find fresh juices literally everywhere. And mocktails are super popular here, which I had no idea. I love fresh juice, obviously. And here in Dubai, it's so easy to find and it's not ridiculously expensive. Like I feel like in Canada and US, in the US, if you want to buy like a fresh juice from like a juicery, it'll run you like like up to $20 just for like a juice that's like cold pressed or whatever. But here, it's literally so common. You can buy fresh orange juice wherever you go. You can buy watermelon juice, which is amazing, wherever you go. Like it's just incredible and a refreshing and healthy way to enjoy the city. One of the things that I didn't know before I came to Dubai is actually how beautiful it is. As a city, it's a man-made city pretty much, right? It's in the desert. So when they designed it, they really designed it with intention. It's creative. The city itself has a style. You could say it's a futuristic city. It's got lots of minimalist tones, like grays and blacks and blues. And whoever designed it made it so that it had its own personality. And I think living in an intentionally, visually beautiful city has the effect of making you appreciate your surroundings more. Sometimes just walking around, you find all kinds of cool things, like statues in public places, or you see a new building that genuinely makes you uh, stare at it with awe. So I think Dubai is inspiring. As a city itself, it has a visual kind of signature to it. And it's unlike any other city I've ever seen. So definitely something I've enjoyed realizing once I came here. 
All right, guys, well, that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit about this magical city of Dubai. It's a man-made city in the desert with a lot to offer, as you now know. It's futuristic, it's clean, it's safe, it's a fruit lover's paradise. It is beach and nightlife friendly and a great place to have both personal, professional, and social life. So it's a hard balance to strike, but it has a lot to offer for pretty much anybody. So if you can make it here, I hope you enjoy it. I hope that uh, you get inspired to you know, come here if it's your dream. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Uh, check out more videos on my channel on Dubai or on life here. And I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Remember guys, dreams are supposed to come true. So I hope that yours do too.